OMG, look who it is. One half of the women's tag team champions, my partner. Hello to you too, partner and fellow tag team champion. Isn't it wild how far we've come? You used to hate me. Hey, we've been over this. I didn't hate you. I just resented you and hated everything I thought you stood for. Ah, yes, totally different. But water under the bridge. Feels easier to get along when we're champs. Speaking of, as champions, how should we kick off defending our titles? Why not hold an open challenge? Seems a good way to show the WWE Universe that we mean business when it comes to defending our gold. I love it, partner and fellow champion. Okay, that's starting to get old. Yeah, I regretted it as soon as I said it. The former tag team champs refused to go away. You have to respect them answering the champion's open challenge like indestructible villains in a horror movie. A horror movie we've seen too many times. I think I speak for the WWE Universe when I say it's time for a new era in tag team dominance. Will Asuka and Tamina regain their tag team titles from the new champions? Or will the champions kick off Corey's new era in tag team dominance? It's time to find out. Bang, right in the face. Great drop kick. Well, somebody call that show, huh? A display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Nothing fancy here, just raw power. The challenger being outclassed here. Yeah, not looking good at all. Tamina being controlled by the opposition here. Tamina has to devise a new plan here. Going up top. is the Bellas made quite an impact here tonight with their shocking return. We haven't seen them in quite some time, and now they just cut to the front of the line for a tag team title opportunity. Don't ever underestimate the Bellas cutthroat mentality. There's a reason they're Hall of Famers. I don't think the tag champions will be underestimating them after this. Unbelievable. I didn't realize you were here tonight. Uh, last minute podcast business. Sorry for not giving you a heads up. But I'm glad I was here. It's just like the Bella Twins to show up and ruin everything. You okay? Yeah, and it sounds like you have something in common. They're also upset about never having the chance to compete for the tag championships. Don't say that. I have nothing in common with them. Those two ran me out of WWE. Didn't your injury run you out of WWE? My injury just sealed the deal. When the Bella Twins arrived, it was the beginning of the end. 
Suddenly, no one was interested in the women as athletes and competitors. They started telling me I was supposed to be a diva. You should be thankful you don't have to deal with that. I still don't know if that's exactly the Bella Twins' fault. I wonder if you'd feel that way if your matches kept getting bumped for bikini contests, or schoolgirl matches, or pillow fights. The Bellas may not have been the whole Divas division, but they were a big part of building it. Honestly, I always liked the Divas. Seems like your real issue was with WWE management. Did I ever tell you I was supposed to give a retirement speech? After I found out I could no longer compete, I was going to have the chance to go out on Raw and have a proper farewell. I really wanted to thank the fans for supporting me throughout my career and tell them firsthand why I had to leave. So what happened? It was cut for time. WWE decided to cover the Bellas going on a double date instead. Wow, I'm so sorry. I never had an issue with the Bellas, but knowing that definitely puts them in a different light. And I'm certainly not a fan of what they did to us tonight. I'm not going to let Nikki and Bree push us around. You know, WWE has been requesting that I book the Bella Twins on ruthless digression so they can do press on their various frivolous projects. I blew them off because of, well, everything. But maybe it would be a good idea to set up an interview. It would be a real shame if anything happened to them while they're recording in the studio. I understand what you're saying. Anything can happen in a podcast studio, and it won't be a pillow fight. I'll talk to Ava. It does seem like both of you always manage to keep busy, even before your surprise return. Groundbreaking reality shows, a podcast of your own. When you were in WWE before, you each held that Divas Championship, but whoa! Oh. Smackdown is our show now! Stay in your lane! That's enough! You've done enough! Break it up! What the hell are you thinking? Get them out of here, now! What did the trainer say? I'm okay. They said I'd be out for about a week, but nothing serious. That's frustrating, but it could have been a lot worse. Didn't expect the Bellas to be ready for us at all. Maybe we underestimated them. Just a little bit. Take care of business until I'm back, okay? I certainly will. There's two of them, but at the end of the day, they're just the Bella Twins. This fearless rookie may be fighting the Bellas by herself tonight, but she didn't come alone. For the first time since Survivor Series, Justine is back! And what a time to return. There's always been bad blood between Justine and the Bellas, and it looks like it's about to boil over here tonight. 
Nikki counters the strike. But Justine doesn't seem content to just sit on the sidelines. Justine's doing everything she can to keep her niece in this match. What's Natalya doing out here? And why is she helping the Bella Twins? Nikki nails the spear! One, two, and it's over! Natalya's distraction is enough to help the Bellas help themselves. In any event, I'm sure we haven't seen the last of this rivalry. Not with that ending. And not with the Bellas continuing to stir things up here on SmackDown. We still don't know why Natalya got involved, but it looks like Justine is even madder about it than her niece. It's no secret that I've butted heads with both the Bellas in the past, but I am done with the shade being thrown on them and the WWE Divas division. I'm not an idiot. I know what some people have said about the women involved in that era, both behind our backs and to our faces, or in some people's cases, hiding behind a keyboard on social media. But the truth is, the Divas division was made up of talented competitors, all looking for their opportunity to shine, just like the women of today. As divas, we had to fight for everything we got, whether it was a chance to speak or a two-minute match. I would have thought a superstar who did her fair share of time in catering would understand taking advantage of every possible opportunity. Make no mistake, I am damn proud of how far this women's division has come. But I'm also proud of where we've been. It's time to respect the women who helped pave the way for the women's revolution. That includes the divas. And if anyone has a problem with that, they have a problem with me. Crazy that only one week out of action has made me this fired up to get back in the ring. Good. Use that fire against Natalia. Actually, I wanted to talk to you. We certainly need to take care of the Bella Twins. But I'm not sure I would have gone so hard on them on social media in the first place. Justine's been telling me all about what she went through with the Divas nonsense. How the Divas division changed WWE for her. For all women, really. Listen, no disrespect to your aunt, but I kind of see where Natalia's coming from. I think she has a point. Maybe you're right. I did see her point when Natalia talked about hustling for opportunities. We can both relate to that. But that doesn't mean I don't want to take down the Bella Twins. Oh, me too. And it'll be an epic takedown. Besides, there's no use debating the past. Not when we can defeat all four of them and also have a little fun in the present. I can't wait. This is about our tag team championships anyway, not my aunt's grievances. Sorry if what I said drew focus from that. Uh, speaking of, look who just turned up. Did you know your aunt was coming tonight? I did not. I'll see what's up. You feeling ready for your match tonight? Ava and I are good to go. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm here to put a stop to any divas, naturally. And if Natalia and Beth want to take on that mantle tonight, that includes them. You mean watch us do that? Sure, that's what I meant. And I'll be in your corner. That's great. Thank you. Believe me, it'll be my pleasure.
Wait a second, what's happening? I didn't think the Bella Twins were here tonight. The Bella Twins aren't, but the tag team champions are, and it looks like they're having more than a little fun imitating the Bellas. They're dressed just like them, too. I don't think it's meant to be a tribute, Byron, although they certainly must have studied their tape to get the Bellas moves down like that. It's a catchy song. Kind of makes me want to dance and swivel my hips like the Bella Twins, too. Please refrain, Saxton. No one wants to see that. And I think Natalia and Beth Phoenix will want to do a lot less dancing and a lot more fighting when they get out in the ring. And I don't blame them. It's disrespectful to make fun of the former divas like this. Well, that's a score we have to see settled here tonight. As this match gets underway, is there any concern the tag champs may be splitting focus between their opponents and the Bellas? I agree. It could be giving Natalya and Beth Phoenix extra motivation to set these young champs straight. Well, they're going to have to set a legend straight while they're at it because Justine has come to ringside in the champ's corner. We'll see what role she plays in this match. Oh, what a kick! All right, let's get it. Great drop kick. It's incredible, the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Perched up top, could be looking for a super... Superplex, maybe something more. Oh, this is gonna be big. It's gonna hurt. Falcon arrow. That move on its own will knock the wind out of you, but from that height, it'll knock the earth and fire out of you. Watch out. She's starting to look concerned. A lot of energy left. Fresh partner to tag. She's in the back. Sky. Uh -oh. He's going for the cover. Easily kicks out of that one. She was hopeful going for the pin there. Oh, by the hair, whipped across the leg. That ain't right. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. She returns the favor there. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Oh, this is the Tyler's wheelhouse. The Hart family legacy lives on. No, 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 no! Teammate in to save the match! Not over yet. Carefully placed stop to the arm. thrown back into the ring. Control of their opponent with more in mind. Fiscus punch. That offense really hitting her heart. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. And she had Natalia's number there. Down into the point of flex. For the win. Two. And she picked up the victory. Picked up the victory. Here are your winners. LJ and Ava Marina.
The tag team champions rivalry with the Bella Twins has led to this. One grueling match to stand tall of the tag team division once and for all. Past, present, and... Future? Those are some serious bragging rights. The champs have had some extra pep in their step with Justine in their corner, but they'll have to beat the Hall of Fame Bellas all by themselves today. Ooh, what a forearm club. Blast off! Splash! She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by Kana. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. And back into the ring she goes. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Great match, great defense, and it doesn't hurt that your performance sent those Bella Twins packing. <laughs> Hope we don't see them again. I know you have history with them, but they didn't seem so bad. Besides, Ava and I took care of them. Take a moment to celebrate and relish the victory, but don't forget that the real work is just beginning. I understand. Just because we defeated the Bella Twins doesn't mean there aren't more women coming for our tag team championships. That's not exactly what I meant. Keep defending the tag titles, but you'll be ready to go for a singles championship soon. That should be your real goal. Get a few more rivalries under your belt and keep establishing yourself. Then we'll talk next steps. <laughs> 